Hello, and welcome to another This Month in Datadog. My name is Jeremy, and I'm the Director of Technical Community and Open Source. As always, we'll update you on the newest features, product announcements, events, community projects, and more. It may be the dog days of summer, but it's another action-packed month for us. And now, This Month in Datadog, July 2021. Let's get started with a few of the many new product features we recently released. AWS Lambda Function Tracing is now available in Go and Java. Last year, we released distributed tracing for AWS Lambda to provide comprehensive visibility across your serverless applications. Now, we've added support for Lambda functions written in Go and Java. Whether you've integrated serverless functions into your existing Java and Go applications or are running a fully serverless application, Datadog APM, along with Tracing Without Limits, enables you to easily trace all requests as they propagate across your containers, hosts, and functions. ECS is anywhere, and so is Datadog. Datadog is proud to be a launch partner for ECS Anywhere. Using Datadog, you can monitor your on-prem applications as you migrate to containers, and make sure your on-prem devices at the edge of your network are running your applications as expected. Monitor real-time Salesforce logs with Datadog. Datadog can now collect Salesforce event logs directly from your real-time event monitoring stream, giving you deep insights into the security and operational performance of your Salesforce environment. Manage incidents on the go with the Datadog mobile app. You can now be even more productive when responding to issues while away from your keyboard by declaring incidents and notifying responders directly from your mobile device. Use Datadog's Notebook API to programmatically manage your notebooks. We're excited to announce the launch of our new Notebooks API, which gives you the flexibility to create and update your notebooks programmatically, making it even easier to integrate them into your existing workflows. Multiple group by dimensions for log time series visualizations and monitors is now available. The Log Analytics Time Series Visualization gives you the power to investigate trends in your log data and split these trends into groups to compare behaviors of systems, applications, and users. You now have access to more granular comparisons using up to four aggregation groups in a time series or log monitor query and can also include these groups as template variables in a monitor notification. As you can see, we released quite a bit more. For a complete roundup of all the new features and product announcements, visit the link shown. In the spotlight this month, we're excited to announce that cloud security posture management is now generally available. I sat down with Michael, who works on the cloud security platform on our product team to discuss. Let's join Michael as he explains what security posture management is. Security posture management is the practice of uh, checking your cloud infrastructure for misconfigurations and to check that your infrastructure generally follows cloud security best practices. If you look at all of the past attacks from the last couple of years, they have usually come down to the root cause of one or two misconfigurations that a cloud attack exploited. Interesting. So is a product like this targeted mostly at traditional security teams or is this targeted more widely within an organization? We think that both developers and security teams should be using this uh, product together. Security really understands risk. They understand the types of attacks that can happen. But then you also need developers as well because they are the ones who know their infrastructure the best. So with the product GA and available to everyone, what do you think is unique about our implementation? We are the only platform out there that combines CSPM, SIM, and cloud workload security for uh, production cloud environments. Our customers want one unified view to be able to pinpoint if there's any real-time threat that we see with your logs, any real-time threats in your like operating systems across your uh, servers or your containers, because often the root cause is a cloud misconfiguration. You want to see these things on one timeline. Each month in the Water Bowl, we'll feature a project or post from the Datadog community. Cecilia, what do we have this month? Hi, everybody. I'm Cecilia on the community team here at Datadog. 
This month, we'd like to highlight a story shared by Peter Sugihara about how the engineering team at Opendoor used Datadog to make their maps 10 times faster. Opendoor operates an online real estate marketplace, which involves visualizing homes on a map. These maps are having performance issues, so Peter's team began to investigate where these issues were occurring. With Datadog, they found that the slowness was mostly happening in active model serializers and fetching from the database. They identified a metric to optimize, P90 time to fetch property data for the map, which captures what the majority of users were experiencing while excluding outliers. By creating specialized serializers, fixing a caching bug, optimizing and parallelizing queries, and optimizing the way they interacted with MongoDB, Peter's team was able to reduce that metric from over 10 seconds to just under one second. They also set up a Datadog alert for anomalous latency changes. We'd like to thank Peter for sharing, and we're happy to have been able to help. Once again, I'm Cecilia from the community team. And if you've got a library, integration, project, or just a cool public dashboard, please let us know. You can join us over on our public Slack through the link below, or email us at community at datadoghq.com. See you next month. We launched two Learning Center courses this month. In Introduction to Incident Management, you'll learn the basics of incident management, walk through a hands-on scenario in Datadog, generate a post-mortem notebook, and better understand how to collaborate during an incident. In Datadog API, Automation and Infrastructure as Code, you'll get a hands-on tour of the Datadog API and learn a variety of ways to communicate with the Datadog API with an emphasis on automation. A reminder that the Dash 2021 CFP is still open. Don't forget to join us October 26th and 27th for Dash 2021, Datadog's fourth annual conference on building and scaling the next generation of applications, infrastructure, and technical teams. We want to hear your stories about speed, security, and scalability. Do you have a success story or a cautionary tale? If so, this is your opportunity to share it. The deadline for submissions is August 6th. Visit dashcon.io slash CFP. Thanks again for joining us for this month in Datadog. We'd like to hear from you. If you want to discuss something mentioned in this episode, comment on YouTube. Have a suggestion for a future water bowl or want to discuss something with the team? You can email us at community at datadog.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified of future episodes of This Month in Datadog. We'll see you next month.